Hi, I'm Simon Roberts, the author of The Power of Not Thinking. I've made this short video to tell you a little bit more about who I am, the motivations for writing the book, what's in it, and why it's timely and relevant. So I'm a business anthropologist. I run a consultancy called Stripe Partners based in London. And we use in our work the science, uh, the social sciences um, to help our clients understand um, and make sense of the world and what to do next. And that's one of the motivations for writing the book because many of the techniques we use um, are grounded in the theory and practice of embodiment and embodied knowledge. The second motivation is um, that over the last decade or so, big data has risen to the top of the agenda for many organizations and businesses, but I think there are serious limitations to what it can help them understand about the world. And thirdly, we're living in the age of AI and uh, AI practitioners make uh, many um, optimistic claims about what uh, is going to be possible. Um, but I think those are overinflated claims. And what I wanted to do in the book was to uh, use the power, the power of, of embodied knowledge as a concept to help explain why there are such um, limitations as to, uh, as to what's going to be possible. So the book explains to the reader in, I think, I hope, uh, a simple way, a complex um, concept like embodied knowledge. And I do that by breaking it down into five constituent parts, exploring five kind of qualities or characteristics of that knowledge. I explain how we acquire it, um, how we put it to use and how we retain that knowledge and also how it enables us to be uh, more empathetic and give us a better understanding of other people and, and their experiences um, of the world. But the book is not just a sort of a, 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 a deep dive into a, a thorny uh, conceptual landscape, um, but it's a deeply practical book too. And in the final four chapters of the book, um, I go, uh, go into four domains, business, creativity and design, uh, policy and politics and um, the world of AI and robotics uh, to show how some of the theories of embodiment are being uh, put to work um, in very successful ways to help companies and organisations um, understand um, their customers better, to build better products and services um, or develop policies more in tune um, with the worlds around them. I think it would be remiss of me to end this video without touching on why uh, the power of not thinking is uh, particularly relevant uh, in a time of corona. Um, we're all now familiar with being locked down, with social distancing and living life as an endless um, set of, of video conference meetings and other virtual forms of communication. I think what we've all begin to, begin to, begun to realise is what's missing in those interactions is the body. Um, our inability to really understand people at uh, the other end of a video call, uh, the absence of the, dis, uh, the very intricate cues that our bodies give off, our inability to really understand how they're thinking and feeling. Um, so I think the book does a really good job of explaining what is missing in a virtual world, and hopefully that makes it ever more timely and relevant. And so I'd just end by saying thanks for listening. Um, I hope you read the book, um, obviously more than hope that you uh, are willing to take it on in your respective markets. And um, I'd really look forward to helping you uh, publicise it and make it a commercial success for you to take it on. Thanks a lot.